What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're not actually playing Destiny, we are playing NBA Jam 2016, otherwise known as Oryx Basketball. Now this easter egg has been out for a while, but with all the new players in Destiny I figure it's a nice time to go ahead and revisit it. I never personally did it myself until last night. Now right over here where this piston is not firing, this is very important. This is what takes us over to the basketball court and I'm going to show you the best that I can as to how to get there. So if you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now the two teammates that I'm highlighting right here are standing on spikes and it's very important to note that because you want to split your team of six up to find these spikes that are all across the arena and they're glowing. They will glow whenever you get by them and they have a number of other spikes that are underneath them. All of this is extremely, extremely important. But right now we need to find the location of all the spikes. The first two you could see are right around the entrance. The next two are around the middle of the area and the last two are towards the end. Now I'm getting over to this first plate right around where you would go if you were going to get the exotic chest. And you can see this one right up here. I'm not actually going to get to that one but you're probably going to need somebody that is either a titan with a garrison or a blade dancer to get to that one from pretty much the area that is above me. And actually above me right now is another spike that has again another group of spikes below them. You want to get to all these places and just sit in place. You want to pretty much get people to these spikes and sit there and wait because you're going to have to activate them in code. And you can see right here we do have Waffle up above me and he's sitting in wait on another spike. So you can see again besides the glowing spike there are a number of spikes that are below them. This is really important because there is a sequence and the sequence in order to tell you which spike you're on you pretty much have to look at how many little spikes are underneath the glowing one. That's going to give you your key, that's going to give you your clue, that's going to let you know when it's your turn to activate your spike. Because they glow. Whenever they are not activated, they glow a bluish color. Whenever they are activated, they're going to glow yellow, orange, something like that. Now, cool guy is trying to shoot down and show me where mine is. But I can't get over to it. I have no way of seeing this. Maybe some of you super pro jumpers will be able to get down to it. For me, it just wasn't really an option. So what I'm having is Cool Guy come down to the plate that I'm on. He's going to activate that plate and then get back into position where he can get on his own spikes. But for me, I'm just going to wait and have somebody come and activate this plate to make my life much easier. Because honestly, being in here for the first time, I can't even see where my spike is to even get a guess. And you can see the final spike that Incutio is on is all the way across the other end of the arena. It's pretty much after you go across the platform that you would generally go to get to the sisters. For me to find my first spike, spike number one, I have to cross these little platforms that are only active whenever you have a teammate that is standing on the bridge, standing on that button. And if that teammate decides to troll you and get off it, you are going to fall. <laughs> and luckily as I'm falling, I can see the spike. I just can't land on it because I had no idea that I was going to be jumping at that exact moment. So thank you very much. Also, if you are worried about your kill death ratio at all in Destiny, do not do this because you will die so many times I might have a negative KD after having gone through this it is tricky you're gonna die so many times doing this in general so here I am in my position and Kyushu is up there again on that final spike and finally we had our blade dancer blade dance across to get to that spike that looked like it was close to where that exotic chest is Next, what you want to do is get into position. So what I'm doing is carefully walking off of this glowing spike because I need to make it not glowing. Right now it's active and I need it to not be active. And yes, it was quite tricky to make sure that I was standing on that spike, but I am on the spike below it. And as I turn around very carefully, you will see that instead of glowing yellow, my spike is now blue. So it's time to start activating these codes. There's two codes and I don't know which order to tell you to do them in because we had to do them multiple times. I'm going to give them both to you. Try them out. If one doesn't work, then try the next one. This first code, this is the one that actually ended up working for us. It is 416523. Again, 416523. Those are the number of spikes that are below your glowing spike. 416523. 
If that one doesn't work, the second code is 165243. 165243. If it's not working for you, you're going to be in the situation that we're at right now. We're going to be at that piston right at the beginning of the arena, and it's not going to be firing. It's not going to be working. Now, we made a mistake right here. After we entered our code, we all came over here to check, and that was bad because then we all had to get back into position. Instead, I would recommend having one person, one person who can either see if this piston is firing or one person who has a pretty easy spike to get to to come and take a look and see if this piston is firing. If it is, then you are in good shape. You get to move on to the next stage. And if you died in jumping trying to get to the spikes, welcome to more death here. Because what you have to do opposite the pillar where my crosshair is, is the room, is the orcs basketball room. And you need to get there by having this piston push you over to there. Now. We recommend two things, either having a blade dancer with your super up and being able to blade dance into it after being pushed, or a titan that has the twilight garrison to be able to get there. And you can see as I got pushed, the room was just a little bit above me. So what I was trying to do afterwards is jump in the air a little bit, jump in the air a little bit before the piston actually fires so that I can actually be high enough. And you can see right here, this was pretty much my best attempt. I got really, really close, but I did not get in. So it is really tricky. You and your teammates are going to die a lot. If you have a blade dancer that has a super up, whenever you're getting pushed, you might be able to pop your super and get in that way by slicing your way in. Or if you have a Twilight Garrison like Albert does, you might be able to just push your way in by redirecting yourself and boom, Albert gets in and saves us all from constant death. Whenever he does get in, you can see that these platforms get spawned up and that makes the rest of our lives so much easier. So thankfully, you really only need one person to either A, be a good jumper or B, get lucky enough to get pushed into this hole and the rest of you can kind of walk your way through. And here we are the Orcs basketball court. And it is everything you would ever think a Hive basketball court would be. There are anti-gravity lifts all over the place. There is a relic that you can pick up. One person can pick it up at a time, run around and jump on the anti-grav stuff, get up towards that statue, hold square and dunk it. And whenever you dunk, there are banners that are in the top left and right corner of the room. They light up. After you dunk six times, you get an overdrive. And with the overdrive active, you and your teammates get a speed boost for around 20 seconds so you can run around this room all the more, jumping through the anti-grav lifts, dunking the relic, all that kind of fun stuff. Now whenever people found this room a month ago or two months ago, however long ago it was, whenever they went through all these steps and found it out for the first time, people thought that yes, this was going to lead to something crazy something new, something that we never saw before, maybe another weapon at the time, maybe the sleeper simulant, who knows, because after that black spindle mission, expectations were pretty high from players that there were a lot of secrets in the game. So after those initial trailblazing guardians were bleary eyed after hours and hours of setting off runes, dunking the relic, running around with overdrive, they were told by Bungie, we were all told by Bungie, that this, yes, it is in the game, but it is only an easter egg. It is not part of a larger quest. It's not part of a hidden chest, a secret chest, nothing like that. And I do believe Bungie in this matter because it doesn't make sense for them to put this in the game, this elaborate thing in the game, to potentially lead to a chest and then tell all of us that it doesn't lead to anything. That just doesn't make any sense. So yes, I believe them when they say this is just what it is at face value. They wouldn't get you all the way to here and then tell you, nope, there's nothing more if there was something further in the game. So whenever you get to the basketball court, if you've done the King's Fall Raid, this can be a nice diversion just to say, yes, I play basketball in Orcs' ship on his home court and have some fun. So anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your king's fall, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Basketball. Basketballs?